guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, your girl Jennifer. Fine. You're welcome. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Don't pause this video for those kids. Just look for the red button outside this box where it says subscribe. Click on it. And at the end of this video, or even the start of this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Like, it should tell me that you like this video. I bring you guys a different look entirely. This time right, is a natural glam makeup look with a glowing, dewy skin. It's a bit simple. I just did my eyebrows. I didn't do eyeshadow. I just put my highlight as my eyeshadow base, a little bit of mascara, and a simple everyday lip because this is like a pink lip with a little bit of pink lip gloss. I really like the after effect of this look like I can see myself in the mirror in the life view. I am glowing. If you want to see how I achieve this look right here, keep on watching. First of all, I'm gonna spray my face with this Smashbox Prime Water just to moist my face. Then I'm going to prime my face with this Matchbox Photos Finish Primer, literally around where I have my pores and I massage it around. I'm going to use this NYX Duo Concealer just to conceal my spots and my under eye so it eliminates the dark circles. I'm going to use my Little Retechnic Sponge just to blend in those concealer into this part and blend underneath the eye to cover it as well. I'm going to be using my Cat Fodin foundation in Steep Silt 4 for my face. Um, applying the first layers and then I'm going to just blend it around with my blending brush from uh, Morphe. <music> Onto the second layers, I'm using my MAC Studio Face foundation in NC45. This is my second layers just to brighten up my face and match my colors to my neck. I'm just going to blend this, bring this out down to my neck so it can be even. More blendy, make sure everything is blended. Using this elegant Pro Concealer in front, just need to cover my underneath eyes and conceal. My jaw areas, my nose, and my forehead. I'm just gonna blend that concealer in. More blending needed under the eyes as well, and down to match the rest of the face. I'm gonna be applying this strip cream from Mac. It's in good light. This just to give my face, my skin, that glowing texture. Blending it with my foundation brush. I'm just going to put it to the point I want my shine to be and blend it out all together. Mind you, I would have done this first, but I skip it, so I'm doing it after my foundation. Again, I'm just going to add a bit of more highlight using this fluid shade from Giorgio Armani to the same areas I just applied my good light. I just want to be dewy, more, you know, shiny. Just blend this out to the rest of the face. Make sure there's no patchy. All you need is blending. I'm going to contour my face. Um, this is early gear contour in espresso. Just going to show you the uh, point of how I contour my nose and there's a leak above for my nose contour video. Again, I'm going to conceal for the second time and the last time from Elegate in Cool 10. This actually brightens and lighting my eyes or the areas I really want the light to show in. Just like my cupid's bow, my nostril, my forehead, my jaw. I'm on the highs. Just gonna wet my brush a bit, then blend this out. First, I'm gonna blend my contour before my actual on the eye concealer. 
I'm using this dual fiber brush because I think it actually blends well than using like beauty blender or something else. For the next part, um, blending my nose, I really love how this brush is so dilted in blending my nose area. As you can see, I'm blending this nose seamlessly and freely and it's blending properly and you can see no movement. Next, I'm just going to blend my under eye concealer along with my contour. So everything should be one, not different as it was before. More blending needed, make sure all the lines you drew your face are all completely blended in. For the excess, I'm just going to um, straighten up my contour lines. Next, I'm going to bake in my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. You guys know the drift, you know how to do it. Just where you put your concealer, your highlighted concealer, just bake your face by applying powder to those areas. This helps to set in and lock in your concealer for the rest of the day. Next, I'm just going to sweep out the powder probably after two minutes or so of baking. So I don't want to be extra dry. I'm going to contour my face with this Morphe Contour Palette. Um, I'm just taking a bit of warm shade here. Just using a big face brush to contour it round. I love the way my my cheeks is snatched. I'm going to be using this pink palette blush to bring color to my face and you know, definition. You can see I'm using a light hand to apply this brush because I don't want it to be too much on my face. I'm going to be alighting with my face with this glowy yellow highlight. I really love this highlight because it's <laughs> I'm using my highlight brush to make sure it's blended and it's where I want it to be. More highlight because at this point we've already put our strobe cream, our fluid shade. This is a powder highlight. This is just to enhance those cream that you are actually dewy and glowing. Just putting highlight in the place I I want obviously the light to be in, such as my eyebrow bone, my nostrils and my cupid's bone. I'm going to use this Alat Compact from Jeffree Star just to add my eyeshadow. <laughs> mascara from L'Oreal in Mango Volume, Baby Roll. I seriously love this mascara. It's so good. Next, I'm applying my lip. I just mix the two pink lip and a pink um, gloss together because I really don't want a matte lip for this look. Just want something simple, easy to take off. <music> At the end of it, I'm just going to set my face with this Cover FX Set and Spray. So it locks in the... Thank you guys for getting to the end of this video. I hope you guys like it. Um, I really want to show you I uh, get my dewy, glowing skin every day. So hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave the comment below. And before you go, I don't know if I should show you. Don't forget to watch my previous video. It's somewhere in the screen. So you find your way. Alright, until then I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye and peace.